should we be going to Hollow Point or straight to Old Haven? I mean, they know where we're going. Maybe we should just meet them there. Well, I guess we could just meet them in Old Haven, get a head start, or we could always just go to Hollow Point. No, that might be dangerous. Man, this is a big decision. <laughs> It's weird, but I, I always, uh, you know, talk to myself during, you know, huge choices. It's just something I do, and I, I know it's just, you know, super important. I, I'm not talking to you. I'm, I'm talking to me right now. So, anywho, probably should just choose something. Well, that's probably enough out of me. We'll meet them at Hollow Point. Then we'll go together, like a family. Sounds good. To Hollow Point. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. It was just to keep Vasquez off of us. Like I said, I would never betray you, bro. Do you forgive me? Just say yes, because I feel like super bad right now, bro. Not even worried about it, bro. Man, I'm so relieved to hear you say that, bro. I knew you'd never betray me, bro. Never, bro. Never. Thanks, bro. Hey, we're bros, bro. That's bro, bro. Bro! For bro. 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 Bro, 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 Are you done? Bro, 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 bro. Unbelievable. I got one. We should probably let him finish. Fine. I'm curious. Why would you choose to go to Hollow Point? What was there to gain? I'm growing impatient. There was nothing to gain. It was just the right thing to do. Oh, please, don't be so eager to fall on the sword. We had Loderbot with us. What exactly could our angle have been? It's not like you came and saved the day. We all have our reasons. I suppose yours are good enough. If they were, we wouldn't be here. A man can only take so much. Luckily, you're a safe distance from a man. <laughs> we were stranded in the desert. You <sighs> had a car. Did you even consider coming to get us? We had our own... One of you will have to change a tire. Badlands are practically a graveyard. Oh, they'll be all right. In the heat? With the skags? I'm not so sure. They probably called for help and had someone pick them up. Yeah, probably. For a caravan like this, we 
couldn't help him if we wanted to. I hope he'll fix it. We're not exactly rolling in cash right now. How are you gonna get him to do it? I mean, I'm assuming it's not exactly a charity. And we definitely cannot get out of here if we don't get this fixed. We'll just play it by ear. Duck and weave. Go with the flow. Uh-huh. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. Stay here. I'll do the talking. Wouldn't have it any other way. Ugh. Does every mechanic have to be gross? Scooter's a fan of the races. Good to know. That race was insane. Rest in peace, Bossanova. Scooter must have connections at Dalcorp. Leaving me out like this. I almost feel sorry for the poor sap. Almost. All right, carries the three to five by twelve. Ah, oh, what the hell, man? I gotta cut down my wrench budget. Oh, oh hey, man! Welcome to Scooter's Catch a Ride. What can we do for you today? Uh... Sorry if I seem a little dis distracted. Uh, hopefully handing this place over to the new proprietor today and I gotta get all these numbers and stuff in order. No, it's a lot. I don't know if you know this, but the transition from small business... Wait, new proprietor? Yeah, man, I got too many locations now. I can't work all of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping to hand this old girl off to Janie Springs, you know her? She used to fix buggies and crap on the moon, so I figured it'd be like riding a bike for her. Figuratively speaking, I don't really do bikes, <laughs> you know? Holy crap! I knew I recognized this rig from somewhere! You were in the latest Boston Over Death Rally! Oh, I was there, man! Did you see me? I was, I was waving! You were a badass! How about we just figure out how to get it fixed, hmm? Oh, uh, all right, man. A little bit hostile, but that's cool. That's cool. That thing's beat up to hell and back, man. I can fix it, but it's probably gonna run you about 2,500 cold 2,500? Uh, that's a little out of my price range. Not to be implied or nothing, but you must have won a buttload of money from that race, right? Where'd it all go? Oh, cause my cousin, right? He said that his sister's friend's neighbor's husband won one of them races one time and the cats kept them fed for weeks. Yeah, someone stole it. Can you believe that? Yes, actually. Yes, I can. Well, tell me this. You think you could ever see yourself racing again? Let me pitch you something, and it might be crazy. But if you keep racing, I would love to endorse you as a sponsor. What do you say? It'll be great. Maybe like a billboard, a couple of commercials, product placement. Tell you what. Throw in an extra thousand bucks and you've got yourself a deal. Thousand? Wow, man, that's kind of a hard bargain, don't you think? Call it a signing bonus. Oh, I, I don't know, man. That kind of thing makes me a little uncomfortable. Say it once for me, man, you know? The catchphrase, catch a ride, you know it, come on, don't be shy, I'm your sponsor now, gotta hear how you do the catchphrase, go on do it, catch a, catch a ride, hmm, okay, okay, thousand bucks, it's yours, but you're gonna have to win like, a crap load of races, alright, I am made of money, man, I'm thinking that we put a big old ad on your van, you know, 
Like maybe a picture of me with like, catch a ride up above it, you know, all cool, right? I'm looking all badass, you need to put some badass pictures of you with your car and your hat and all that. Hi, Scooter, right? Everything going okay? <laughs> I was, uh, I was just gonna, you know, go grab the paperwork, let me take care of that. Okay, bye. All right, man, here's my standard endorsement contract. Don't mind the sub clauses about uh, explosions or whatnot. I might have copied it from Torg. Anyway, I figure as long as I'm in there and you're yeah, doing it for free, maybe you want to splurge and get some of the special packages. I got some good ones. And don't tell me you're broke because I know you got that extra thousand I just gave you. I know it's a big decision. You go ahead and take your time. A lot of good choices, I know, I know. Real classy ones, too. Sometimes I just stand here and, and stare at him, you know? I know how it is. That one would look badass as hell, man. Take it from me, the badass from hell. Man, to be you right now, facing all them possibilities, right for the take. Can you taste the patent? Well, holy crap, man, the Malawan Platinum Package? If I were a car, that's where I'd wear on a date with another car! Come on in, man. We'll get her all hooked up and get to work. Oh, crap. This doesn't look good. Hey, fellas. What can I do you for? Oh, no. I just hope that little deal you two struck is enough to get him to look the other way. Scooter won't turn us in. You don't know that. We don't even know what the reward is this time. You just gotta have some faith, Sasha. Though maybe pressing him for that extra cash wasn't the greatest idea. Out of teach him. Hope you ladies weren't too scared. Just doing my duty to keep ruffians the crap out of my garage. I'm a real protector type. Just all part of the service when you catch a r <coughs> Excuse me. Thanks. Hi, hey man, it was no big deal. Proper man ain't gotta turn in two nice seeming ladies. You might be murderers or some crap, but you ain't tried to murder me yet. <laughs> but seriously, please don't try to murder me. Seems like there's some bad men looking for you two, though. You got a place to lay low while I'm getting your ride all fixed up? It's too risky. I think we should stay put. I say we hit the safe house. It'll have everything we need. Money, gear, new IDs. I remember when Felix first showed us that place. Filthy rat hole. Felix is gone, but that stuff should still all be there. And maybe we can get some answers. Yeah, I think we can figure something out. Thanks, Scoot. Anytime. And I really mean that. I'm gonna go get started, okay?
I don't like this. We shouldn't hang around here too long. Looks like he had company while he was away. Hopefully they didn't find the stash. Come on, look around. We gotta be in and out. Yeah. I got the door. I had to force this on him once his eyesight was starting to go. Yeah, stubborn as always. I couldn't even get him to stop using floppy disks. If it's all the same to you, I could do without Felix's classical music right now. It's empty. That's strange. The can's wet, but I don't see any paint. Hmm. Weird. Felix sure was into science fiction. You were always a better shot than me. Man, it used to drive me crazy. That was a long time ago. Felix's favorite chair. Those few times he felt he could relax anyways. A comfort directly proportional to its wear. Who is she? I don't know. They look happy though. Always nice to see an old friend. Great, a flashlight. Maybe if we go camping. It's a black light. It's the one Felix used to check our first counterfeit bills. Oh, it looked familiar. It's hard to believe that asshole would be sentimental enough to keep this in his safe. Not unless he meant for us to find it. Sasha, look at this. What the hell? It's ultraviolet paint. I guess he wanted to keep all this a secret. Well, he left this for us to find, so... There's something he wanted us to see. There we go. He left something for us to find. Just like him to make a children's game out of something like this. He never could see us as adults. Well, maybe that was the problem. Right there! Awesome!
Uh, if you find another flashlight under there, I'm leaving. Guess that's what we're searching for, huh? Guess so. Here we go. Better double check the contents. Oh, hello, sexy. You're coming with me. What is it? It's an echo comm. Why is there... If you're seeing this, I suppose I'm either dead or worse. My plan worked. I'm sorry. Fiona, Sasha, there's so much I want to tell you, but the less you know, the better. Oh, give me a break. Halfway through the con, I realized we were messing with Valerie's people. I knew that, and I never revealed it to you two. Well... If you're watching this, it won't be long before she's coming after you. Change your names. Change your appearance. Change your life. I believe him. I believe Take he was protecting us. And go. Forget about the life you had. And forget about me. But know that I love you both. With all my heart. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? You're not the one that left. The one that lied. I'm not gonna listen to another second of his bullshit. What was it you yelled at him? Choke on it. What does that even mean? I don't know. Choke on the money, I guess. I, I was just pissed. It was always about the money. The second a big score showed up, he betrayed us. We had it. We had it in our hands, Fiona. Ten million dollars. Enough to get off this planet, enough to... to buy a new life. Felix may be gone, but I'm still here for you. I know. First we find that vault. After that, the rest will take care of itself. Well, I hope you're right. You want a sandwich? Might be a while before we eat again. Sure. What is it? It's some sort of an upgrade. Still only holds a single shot, but it looks like it adds an elemental effect to the bullet. It looks like a backup plan. Hmm, this one comes with another shot. Now I've got two bullets. He left you something, too. I don't want it. So... you're saying I can have it? I don't care what you do with it, I just know I don't want it. I'll just hold on to it for you. In case you change your mind. I won't. So stubborn. You really gonna turn down it?
dead man's final gift to you? Cold-blooded. Right. You should be ashamed of yourself. Hands up, both of you. What you making? Sandwich. Who are you? He's Finch. I'm Kroger. Heard me going up. You see me looking at you. Make him shoot through that nice floor. And for what? For nothing. You two got every bounty hunter in Pandora looking for you. And you're making a sandwich? Tie her up. Let's get out of here. Ooh! She's fast. Please. You embarrassing yourself. Go on. Fiona, shoot him! Do it. You're pointing that at a dude who has people shoot him in the chest for fun. I'm usually drunk and charge 40 bucks, but you can have... You all right, man? Oh, yeah. Re real good. <laughs> Look, you don't have to be a tough guy about it. It's cool. Hey, man. Hey! Go! Oh, I'm counting these bullets. And they coming in. They're mine, Kroger. Uh. Take a walk! I thought you retired. You heard it wrong! Fiona, over there! How do you like this? She's blocking all my shots! Sasha, that's enough! Let's go! Fiona, no! Wait! This way! Hey, wait up! Whoops. My shiny crotch machine! My insurance premiums! It's my story. Shut up. Is she still back there? I can't see her. Are you sure? Maybe she's on the rooftops. She must... Ah, look out! Sasha! Oh, look out! Oh. This ends now! You think it's a stupid Hyperion motorbike? Wait, that doesn't sound right. Loaderbots can't do Look, that. Were you there? No, you weren't. That's what happened. Go on. Was she 
be bothering you. Yeah, you probably should have asked that before you threw her halfway across town. Oh man, did you see the look on her face? Oh, Athena's gonna be so pissed. Where's Reese and Vaughn? Scooter's Garage. They sent me to get you. Oh, well, that's nice of them. What? It is. Come with me if you want to leave. I told you Hyperion some bitches want back. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I promise. That's our ride. Like hell, man. I know the woman that dropped this van off, and you sure as crap ain't them. Well, okay, not our ride, but. Being Hyperion was your strike one, man. Now you're lying to me? In my garage? That's like four or five more strikes right there. Are you guys trying to steal our van again? Ha! I knew it! Oh my god, can you please explain to this guy that we're friends? No way these girls are associated with no Hyperion D-bags! These are our friends, Scooter. What?! Really?! Well... Thanks. Alright, well, if you say they're with you, I guess I can believe that, man. But if you ladies get into trouble, you just call, alright? Or, you know, you don't have to be in trouble to call, man. If you just want to chit-chat, or you find a restaurant you really like, or... You know, wait, but, but the trouble thing, that's you, that's you. Hey, keep an eye out, okay? There might be some dangerous people showing up. Pasha, don't worry, man. Ain't nothing I can't handle. <laughs> be sure to stop off at any of my catch a rise if you need anything. I got them popping up all over Pandora. I hope there are no more bandits. Bandits? Eh, they haven't lived here for years. The Crimson Lance massacred them. Some say their corpses still roam the streets seeking vengeance. Sasha. Not to be a downer, but I'm not seeing any Atlas facility. I'm mostly seeing dry trash. Would it be so hard for just once something to go according to plan? Enough of this standing around crap. Let's get moving. All right, guys. Sure, it's not a fancy resort town, but we're not here for a day at the spa. We're looking for a top secret military facility. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. Pretty sure. I can figure this out. That. <laughs> Looks like we're on to something. Hey guys, guys, come check this out. 
Looks like the whole grid leads right to here. I mean, with all these power lines everywhere, they've, they've got to be connected to something, right? <laughs> 